Welcome to my channel History Bygone. In my today's video, we will see the stories of some unsung heroes of epic Ramayana. The Ramayana is an old story like a fairy tale that we heard as kids. These rich sagas of Hindu mythology are mostly written in Tamil, Hindi and Sanskrit languages. Ramayana is known to earliest poetry written by the first known poet of mankind, the Maharishi Valmiki. This great text, epic Ramayana, comprised 24,000 shlokas and this has been translated, modified unlimited times. The epic or poetry is based on the life of Lord Rama, who is said to be Lord Vishnu's seventh incarnation. If every individual in the Ramayana epic were to be narrated in full, the book would never end it. We learn more and more, we go deep in this epic. Rama first walked into the exile. He later killed the golden deer. Sita was then taken hostage by Ramna. Then Jatayu passed away while saving her. Further, the agreement with Sugriv. And then the big ocean was crossed after killing Bali. Lanka was born and finally Ram put an end to Ravana. This sum up Ramayana. Ramayana's message go much beyond the conveyed tale and Rama as model human being is created by teachings of observation, truth and dharma. The hero of epic Ramayana is Sri Ram, is without a doubt the most written about character in this epic, receiving the largest share of the 24,000 shlokas. Still, there are several characters who perform not for the rules, but they never received much mention. Lakshman, Bharat, Dashrat, Kekai, Koshalya, Sumitra, Mantra, Ravana, Kumkarna, Surupnakha, Vibhishna, Sugriv, Mandodri, extra are well-known characters of this epic. But here is a look at few of Ramayana lesser-known characters and their role in the epic. At very first of this video, we will see the life of Lord Shatrugana, who was the youngest brother of Lord Rama and also known as Ripu Damna. There is one person who despite his glorious status and contribution is spoken very little in this voluminous epic is Shatrugan. Shatrugan was brother of Rama, also known as Ripu Daman. Queen Sumitra was blessed with two sons, Shatrugan and Lakshman. Both were always engaged in serving their elder brothers and fostering unity among themselves. Shatrugan dedicated himself to Bharat as much as Lakshmana is to Sri Rama. Shatrugan mirrored many aspects of Lakshman's personality. During the Sita Swayamba, Sita's father Raja Janak arranged the wedding of Shatrugan to Shruti Kriti, the daughter of his brother Kusha Dhaja. During Rama exile, Bharat met Sri Rama at forest and decided not to return to Ayodhya. So he sends Rama's keepers with Shatrugan instead. And for himself, he built a small ashram at Nandigram, remained there worshipping Rama. In those times from dawn to dusk, it was Shatrugan who stayed at Ayodhya, handled the problem of citizen and governed the kingdom. He made sure that the queen mothers did not feel absence of their sons. During this long period, Ayodhya saw peace, prosperity and security at every corner of the country. Further, he took the responsibility of killing demon king Lavana Sura of Mathura. After this, Sri Ram crowned him as the king of Mathura, where he delivered his duties for 12 years. When Rama conducted the Ashwameg Yagna, it was Shatrugan who leading the horse Digvijay and made the Yagna successful. He was the first to witness Love Kush singing praise of Lord Rama in Ashram of Maharishi Valmiki. 
since the epic revolves around Lord Rama, it was quite obvious that other characters are not given more emphasis, but it doesn't mean that they were not productive. Shatrughan was a great warrior and a dear brother of Lord Sri Rama had talented equal to Bharat and Lakshmana. Jatayu, the king of vultures and youngest son of Lord Garuda. Here is a look at one of the very important but least discussed characters, Jatayu. According to Aranya Kanda of Ramayana, Jatayu was the king of vultures and the youngest son of Lord Garuda. His brother Sampati, a demigod, was good friend of Sri Dasharatha. In Ramayana, when Jatayu seen Ramna adopting goddess Sita using Pushmak Vimana in Rama's absence, he tried to rescue Sita from Ravana. Jatayu bravely fought with Ravana, but Ravana soon injured him badly. So Jatayu fell down on earth. While Rama and Lakshman were searching for Sita, they met upon injured Jatayu, who informed them that Ravana had headed towards south with Devi Sita on his Vimana. When Lord Rama saw that Jatayu was seriously hurt and about to die, he launched an arrow into land to call the water of seven holy rivers, securing Jatayu Moksha. Here we talk about another important character of Ramayana is Jamvan, also known as Jamvant, is son of Lord Brahma and divine king of bears. Jamvan was the divine king of bears. He was the son of Brahma, born from Lord Brahma's mouth when he was yawned. In Sanskrit, yawn means Jirimbhan. He blessed by Lord Vishnu to live for all four yugas, cumulating in helping Kalki avatar, the last avatar of Vishnu at the end of Kali Yuga. He further received a boon from Lord Rama that he would have a long life and greater strength. Jamvan together with Parshuram and Hanuman is considered to be one of the few to have been present for both Rama and Krishna times. He was also present at the Samundra Manthana or the churning of the ocean. He was thus witness to the Kurma Avatara and further the Vamana Avatara. He was also present at times when Lord Vishnu was fighting Mathu and Katimbha demons. Jamvan had once killed a lion who had acquired a precious gem called Samantaka from Prasena. Krishna was searching for this gem. So he came to know that lion killed Prasena and Jamvan killed the lion and taken the gem. Krishna found him in his cave and fight lasted for 21 days. When Jamvan came to know Krishna's identity, he gave up and gifted the gem and also married off his daughter Jambanti to Lord Krishna. Another story says that once he got into fight with Ravana, Jambana given a powerful punches and finally kicked him on his chest, knocking Ravana unconscious and making him fall in his chariot. As a result, the charioteer withdraw the Ravana from battleground. Jamvan was very experienced and intelligent in kingdom administration. He was one of the Sugriva's advisor and he advised to send Hanumana in order to identify of Rama and Lakshmana and what were their real intentions. Jamvan helped Rama to find Sita and to fight Ravana. Later it was who made Lord Hanumana realize his in numerous ability and motivated him to fly over the ocean in search of Sita. He got to know about the disease curing plant Vishalya Karani from the gods. Later he shared this information with Lord Hanuman to help him injured Lakshmana who was rendered unconscious by Ravana's son Indrajit. Above all other achievement of Jamman, he is known as one of the trusted devotees of Rama 
The temple of Jamwand is located at Jamkher in Jalana district of Aurangabad. Here at this part of video, we will see the life history of Angad, the son of Bali and messenger of Lord Rama. Bali and Sugriv were orphan children and brought up by Ansuya and Gautama Rishi in their ashram. Later, Sugriva and Bali was adopted by Rishi Raj of Kishkinda. Bali later married Tara, the daughter of physician Sushen, and Angada was their only son. When Bali was killed by Rama at and at the time of his death, Bali asked Sugriva to take care of his son Angad. Further, Angad was crowned as Prince of Kishikindha and Sugriv had become the king of that country. Angada had undergone internship training under the supervision of Jambad. Just before the war, Rama sent Angada as peace messenger to Ravana court, but Ravana opted war. So after this, Angad positioned his foot strongly on the floor and threw a challenge that if any person was able to uproot his foot, Ram would accept defeat and return back without taking Sita. Each and every of Ravana army and his son Indraji tried to lift his foot but no one succeeded. Ravana got furious and started using abusive words for Lord Rama. This made Angada very furious and then he hit the ground with Imros force with his hands which caused a minor tamrod. Ravana fell down and his crown rolled off from his head. Angada captured it and threw it towards the direction where Rama was waiting. Hanuman grabbed it and placed it on Rama's feet. Ramna ordered his army to kill Angada, but Angad escaped. During this war, Angada killed many Rakshasa, including Ravan's commander, Akpa Man. He also killed Ravna's son, Narantak, and son, Devantak, and given tough fight to Meghnath who later killed by Lord Lakshman. He also helped Sugriv during his fight with Kumbhakaran and finally at outside of city of Lanka, Ramna was killed by Lord Rama. Angada had ruled his country Kishikinda in peace for many, many years. Due to his devotion to Ram and his family, they always treat him as their own son. So Ramayana is the story of Sita and Ram. The epic is also known for some of its characterizations like Lakshman, Bharat, Dashrat, Kaushalya, Kekai and Hanuman. But there have been some lesser known heroes who have not found much mention. In this video, we will learn more about Chatrugan, Jatayu, Jaman and Angada. But still there is a scope to discuss Nal and Neel, Garuda, Kevad, Sampati. List of people is endless who help to build story of the epic Ramayana. Thanks for watching my video at my channel History Bygone. Please like and subscribe my channel and for any suggestion do share in comment section.